Graphic equalizers use a system of sliders or knobs to cut or boost independent frequencies and can be found in domestic hi-fis, car stereos, home cinema, live sound applications and so on. These can be simple affairs with just five adjustable bands for simple domestic use or more complex systems with 31 adjustable bands for very precise control over feedback problems or resonance issues in a professional live setting where every venue, arena or room has its own unique sonic characteristic and the engineer needs to be able to adjust the sound to suit. These complex EQs are called a third octave EQ because the centre frequencies of its filters are spaced one third of an octave apart, which gives you three adjustable filters per octave of frequency. And yes, we can think of octaves in musical terms. Don't forget the higher the frequency of a sound, the higher in pitch it is. The lower in frequency, the lower the pitch. And this is why EQ is arguably the most musical of audio processes. The EQs with half as many filters, those where such precise control is not necessary, are called two-third EQs. Next up we have parametric equalizers. Invented by Burgess McNeil and George Massenberg in the early 70s, these are multi-band variable equalizers that allow control over three basic parameters: amplitude or volume center frequency and bandwidth. This basically means that the level of each band can be adjusted, the center frequency of each band can be moved and the bandwidth or Q setting can be widened or narrowed. These are very useful and can be used to make very precise adjustments to sound. All a graphic EQ can do is cut or boost each assigned frequency but with a parametric you can choose the frequency and the bandwidth as well. A semi-parametric equaliser, or sweepable filter as it's sometimes known, allows control over amplitude and frequency, but uses a preset bandwidth. Dynamic EQs allow you to place a filter on a certain frequency that will only come into effect once a certain level has been reached. These behave in exactly the same way as a compressor and can be used very effectively on things like vocals, where a louder section can result in a harsher sound. Or for more subtle effects like de-essing, where EQ can be applied to loud S's that breach the desired threshold. Standing outside the same door again Wishing that I would let you in Standing outside the same door again Standing outside